From its refined architecture and prominent location at the base of the Alps, to its distinction as Italy's first capital, Turin is the city where Italy was created, and it is home to some of the finest cuisine in the world. So, whether you've come to visit Italy's largest outdoor market and indoor food hall, go on a truffle hunt, or taste some of the country's best wines, no trip to Turin would be complete without visiting the most elegant and historically important restaurant in Italy, Del Cambio. From hosting some of the world's most famous clientele to witnessing the birth of a unified Italy from literally across the street, Del Cambio is a multi-dimensional culinary concept that will take your breath away. Welcome to The Trot, I'm Mark. After years in corporate America, I decided to feed my soul, literally, following my family roots back to Europe. So with food as my compass and Europe as my map, I'm exploring the best that European life has to offer. And that means you're going to see some amazing places, meet some incredible people, and of course, watch me eat some pretty spectacular food. And because life as a full-time blogger only pays some of the bills, I started a travel company, taking my followers with me on custom tours through Europe. So whether I'm traveling solo, with my friends, or my guests, one thing is for certain, I'm exploring Europe one bite at a time. This is Eurotrotter. Boasting 19th century frescoes with crystal chandeliers, velvet clad chairs, and wall to wall gold framed wooden panels and mirrors, Del Cambio is one of the oldest restaurants in the world. Since its opening in 1757, Del Cambio has served some pretty famous figures. From the great Italian lover Casanova and screen legend Audrey Hepburn, to the philosopher Friedrich Nietzsche, and even Wolfgang Amadeus Mozart. But none may have more importance than Camillo Benso, the Count of Cavour and first Prime Minister of Italy, who had his own permanently reserved table at Del Cambio, directly facing Italy's first parliament and overlooking Palazzo Carignano. And it was here at Ristorante Del Cambio that Cavour along with Giuseppe Garibaldi and Giuseppe Mazzini, over heaping plates of tagliolini, literally united northern and southern Italy in 1861. But today, the name turning heads at Del Cambio is Chef Matteo Baronetto, the culinary genius behind one of Italy's most exquisite Michelin dining experiences. Uh, the Cambio is uh, not uh, a simple uh, restaurant. It's, uh, for me, it's like a museum. It's a historic uh, Piemontese Italian restaurant, and uh, guests come uh, in, uh, in our restaurant, want to eat uh, traditional uh, things, but uh, uh, the new uh, form of uh, uh, avant-garde kitchen. When planning your visit to Del Cambio, plan for much more than a dining experience because Del Cambio is a multifaceted culinary institution. Alongside its star-studded Michelin restaurant, Del Cambio also offers Farmacia, an incredible pastry lab and espresso bar, a world-class wine cellar, and Bar Cavour, a sleek cocktail bar and lounge serving up inventive cocktails and contemporary dishes. Now, if you're wondering how to do all of this in one visit and on one day, well, let me show you. What once was a pharmacy in the early 1800s, Farmacia is now a gastronomic laboratory re-envisioned by Del Cambio, offering decadent pastries, Italian coffees, and signature takeaway items for a refined lunch. If you're actually looking to try something unique and local to Piemonte, then I recommend trying what is literally 
a work of art, and that is this beautiful marroquino. And the marroquino is similar to a cappuccino, although you wouldn't think so, but it is basically a shot of espresso with cocoa powder and a uh, beautiful milk froth on top with a little bit of cocoa. Um, marroquino is Italian for Moroccan and it's inspired by the color of Moroccan leather in that light brown color that was originally used in the 1930s to make hair bands. One thing I'll recommend, which you must do with everything, whether you're eating a salad or you're drinking something as beautiful as this, is mix it together. When you have something composed like this, to truly take on the essence and flavor that's intended, you'll want to stir it all up. So here, oh wow, and it's actually quite thick. The main difference between a cappuccino and a maracchino is that the focus is more on the espresso, not the milk. So you'll actually find that there is more espresso in the maracchino than in a cappuccino. And that is right up my alley. It's actually outstanding. It's almost a little bit uh, like a hot cocoa taste, but an adult version, because the espresso really just has that beautiful round edge of caffeine that you need. The uh, milk foam is delicious. It's a really sweet way to start the day. Mmm. One of the things that you will see at Del Cambio, and here as well at Farmacia Del Cambio, is, if you will, the inventiveness, the reimagining of tradition and traditional dishes and influences and flavors. And that isn't any better seen than in this reimagining of the croissant. This is actually the Krubik. So not cubic, but Krubik, because it is a croissant that is actually folded into the shape of a cube. This is literally spectacular. It's almost to the point where I wouldn't want to eat it because it is absolutely stunning. Again, you can see the beautiful layers of the croissant shaped into this cube. Truly a work of art. Look at that. This gorgeous egg custard is the treasure inside the Krubek. Wow. Like I said, here at Farmbrachia, it's a reimagining of traditions. So this is not just any croissant, but it's a croissant with vanilla bean custard. Unreal. Mmm. Mmm. And for the coup de gras, the 1757. And this is a very special pastry because this is the year that Del Cambio was founded. And this is a pastry that was created especially for the anniversary of Del Cambio last year, celebrating over 240 years in business here in Torino. And this is a show stopper, which is why I saved it for the last. A sweet finish to a beautiful breakfast here at Farmacia Del Cambio. What you'll notice about this pastry is it is meant to be not just shared, but also pulled apart one section at a time, almost like eating uh, a fruit. So you'll see, or a monkey bread, if you will, you'll see all the individual sections around the 1757. It's quite striking. And on the inside, you have the beautiful chocolate, if you will, again, that brioche uh, level cake with what looks like a house-made, if you will, uh, chocolate or Nutella, but house-made here at Farmacia del Cambio. So good. If you're a wine enthusiast, then the wine cellar at del Cambio will blow your mind. Because in this historic wine cellar from the 16th century, you'll find over 20,000 bottles and 3,000 different labels of wine. So prepare yourself for the ultimate wine tasting experience. For a closer look and taste, I met with head sommelier at Del Cambio, Christian Brancaleoni. 
This is lovely, Christian. Thank you so much. We are in Piemont. I think it's a good idea to have a glass of Barolo. And Barolo is from Piemonte. It's from Piemonte, it's from, uh, from Lange, in the southern part of Falba, made from 100% of uh, Nebbiolo grape, autochthon grape of Piemont. So it's a really uh, interesting red wine, uh, austere, powerful, uh, uh, concentrate, uh, it's a really uh, male wine. Mm -hmm. And the color is beautiful, very dark. dark. color, really, uh, with this garnet, uh, luminous color. You have a nice trans transparency, so it's not too too dark, it's not too deep. It's the characteristic of Nebbiolo grape. You can... Is there oak? Yeah. So really, it's easy. It's beautiful. It is easy. It's easy. It's going to go down easy too. This is lovely. So you have oh, this touch of oakiness, touch mm -hmm. of tobacco, touch of uh, even touch of mushrooms that came out with a touch of aging with Nebbiolo grapes. Then you have all the fruit character. In this case, a lot of uh, uh, black fruit, blackberry, blueberry, uh, even crushed. Mm -hmm. So it's not uh, not um, fresh because with the aging we go to something more uh, ripe. Mm -hmm. So you have a lot of uh, ripe black fruit, even a touch of leather, almost. Floriality, I get a little uh, leather, like, like like leather. Perfect. A touch mm. of uh, dried rose, uh, dried petal rose. Uh, it's beautiful, and the glass is important as well. The glass is important, yes. Sometimes you, you need more more surface to open up the wine, to to let the wine to make contact with the oxygen to open up. In some other wines, you need more close, and more right to to the nose. Everything is uh, is complicated but really easy to understand. Mm -hmm. And mind. when guests come to Del Cambio, they can come to the cellar? Yes, of course, okay. of course. Wow. It's a pleasure for me to show, uh, to, sh to show the guests all this here because when we are upstairs, we don't know, uh, people don't know what is downstairs. It's a treasure. And that's it's what I'm treasure. finding here is that in every aspect of Del Cambio, uh, there is a treasure that is uh, unearthed, that yeah. is found. And here we are below the Ristorante in the wine cellar, 20,000 bottles, yeah. 3,000 different labels. It's spectacular. It's a treasure, but, but all the restaurant is a treasure. It's something historical. Uh, uh, you, can, you can smell the history in the cellar, in the, in the main room, uh, in the kitchen, so everything. You smell the history, you taste the history. Christian, thank you so much thank for sharing the cellar with me. Thank you. Chin chin. For one of the most elegant and exquisite meals in all of Italy, for either lunch or dinner, this is Del Cambio.
This has been an experience for me that is uh, quite unrivaled. And I encourage you when you come to Torino, or if you don't come to Torino, that you put this on your list of restaurants to visit because it's truly a one of a kind, Michelin starred experience. Del Cambio, grazie mille, job well done. And this is something you must try when you come to Torino. The bicherine, espresso, and the chocolate, and the cream, best enjoyed in one sip. Don't stir it up. And for a sweet finish here at Farmacia, John Diotto, which is a typical sweet confection here in Torino, in Piemonte, and it looks incredible, with, of course, a beautiful chocolate art of the National Cinema Museum. We are in Torino, after all, the birthplace of Italian cinema. This is absolutely spectacular. Beautiful chocolate cream, fresh chocolate cocoa on top, and on the inside, a tart, sweet berry jam. It's fabulous. This is the way to start the evening here at Del Cambio, at Farmacia. Tonight, we're heating things up here at Bar Cavour in Torino, part of the Del Cambio brand. A dynamic place for some of the most creative and delicious cocktails. And Marco, the bartender here, is going to show us exactly what that looks like. Marco, thank you. Hi, you're welcome. So, welcome to Bar Cavour. I'm Marco, I'm a bartender for Del Cambio. So tonight I'm preparing a Fitz cocktail uh, with basic gin from Piemont. The gin is from Piemonte? Yeah. Voila. And a touch of uh, uh, acidity. And a little bit of uh, uh, oleosaccharum is a syrup, uh, citrus syrup. Okay. Okay. Oh wow. And uh, a little bit of uh, Saint Germain. Love it's a that. Edelflower liquor. Voila. And I'm finished with uh, amazing ice Oh chunk. my gosh, wow. Voila. And uh, a homemade so basil soda we make here with uh, fresh basil, water, and uh, sugar, and uh, some part of acid. Well, that is a cocktail. So, and we decor it with garnish. Oh, I can smell the basil. Amazing lime, dry lime, and uh, voila. Beautiful. You're welcome. Grazie. Enjoy your drink. Wow. Thank you. What a cocktail and what a presentation. From the ice cube to the dried lime, and the homemade liqueur, and then the essence of the basil that you can smell, it's the first thing that hits you when you have the drink. It is Fabulous, smells so delicious. It's outstanding, Marco, excellent. Nice. Yeah. It's so good. It's fresh, yeah. yeah. It's fresh, it's smooth, it's light. The, the lime, the basil, the carbonation, and then the gin, excellent, excellent. What a great way to start the evening at Bar Thank Cavour. You. Thank you very much. Thank Enjoy you. Enjoy your dinner. Absolutely. And on that note, it's time to manjo. Welcome to Bar Cavour. I am here with Vittoria Bararaco. Uh, and hopefully I said that yes. decently. Perfect. <laughs> uh, and she has been an absolute pleasure to work with here at Del Cambio. And we're having the evening together tonight, enjoying some delicious cocktails at Bar Cavour and uh, some nibbles. Vittoria, thank you so much for welcoming me. I'm happy and I, we're really honored to have you here. Well, was, thank you. It was a really pleasant day. I it was a I wonderful really day. It. It, it, the, the food was fantastic. The service, the hospitality, uh, the presentation, everything was absolutely exquisite. 
from Farmachia to the Ristorante. It's just magical. Yeah. Magical. Yeah. Cheers. Cheers. Thank you. You're welcome. Thank you. What a beautiful space this is here at Bar Cavour. Uh, and very different from what I experienced earlier, but I think so, somewhat of a continuation. So what am I in store for tonight with Bar Cavour for the meal? We're gonna have like a tasting of different dishes, small dishes that will bring you around from South America to really? Oriental countries. Yes, How it's... interesting. Grazie, thank you. Wow, beautiful. I'm, I'm still at first. You are still at the first. <laughs> Cheers. <laughs> I'm an experienced drinker. And this cocktail <laughs> looks absolutely perfect. And this is the Martini del Cambio. Right. It's the signature cocktail from del Cambio. Wow. And do you like and the cocktail? Yes. Mm -hmm. This cocktail is very good and <laughs> strong. And for an experienced drinker like myself, it's delicious. Yeah, I really like these cocktails because they're quite tough, no? Uh, well, yes. But it's, not, not too much, I mean, but no, in the but right way. No, but you want to taste the alcohol. When you go somewhere, I hate mm. when you have a drink and it's just Sweetie. all sugar and yeah. sweet. I want to taste the liquor. It's fabulous. It's smooth. Mm -hmm. And it, on a cold day, it just warms you all the way down. I love it. It's delicious. Actually, you're making me want to order one from You know what it is? Because... <laughs> Um, the other drink I had was light and refreshing and just a touch of sweetness. This, as um, it's warm, mm -hmm. it almost has a brandy-esque feel to it. It's so delicious and it's honestly perfect on a chilled night like tonight. It's lovely, quite lovely. <laughs> so we have Tokyo Torino, which is a tataki beef. Wow. And this is our sashimi. Oh, <laughs> wow, Ricardo, fabulous. I swear, everything here is just such an experience, such a surprise, such a presentation, and such huge flavor. Incredible. Look at that. Yep. Wow. <laughs> I knew, but I didn't and, tell you. And, and, and Asian influence. <laughs> yes. Such an international cuisine. And there's more. And the sashimi, we have the bonzo sauce. This is sweet miso. Oh, beautiful. My yeah. gosh. Sorry. Can I have a martini to the cambio? No. Because, I mean, he, he sold it to me. He managed to convince me. Martini to the cambio. I only want what, he, what he takes. I <laughs> we swapped like... It's good to know that I'm having that impact and influence. Yeah. I like that. <laughs> Look at this. Fantastic. So this is called Tokyo Torino. Okay. Because it's like... Um, Tataki, but okay. with beef. Beef, ah. as you've seen, have you seen today? Yes, of have course. you seen as you've seen it's typical it's from our elegant. cuisine. And almost a little bit of that Piemontese salad influence around the edge. Yes. The, again the similarities, right? Mm, right. Fabulous. And then this is Sashimi. Sashimi. sashimi from Barcavour. Cavour which sashimi. I love Me too. sashimi. Fabulous. I have the citrus. I taste the citrus in there. Mm -hmm. The beef, the tataki, is cooked to perfection. Seared just beautifully, minimally on the outside, rare on the inside. It's absolutely beautiful. I have to show you. Mm. This is a beautiful piece of meat. The edges are just perfectly seared, lightly, quickly. The inside interior is cool and beautifully ruby red. It is gorgeous. Adorned with the sauce, the pickled vegetables, it does not get any better than here at Bar Carvour. Mmm. And the sesame seeds yeah, nice. with the texture, fabulous. Looks like yellowtail. Uh, we'll, ask, we'll ask Ricardo to tell us which kind of fish. Oh. Here we go. What is it? What is it? Fishy, the sashimi, for sure. Yellowtail? Ricciola, branzino, and ah, capasanta. Really? Capasanta. Which one's the branzino? The branzino is the... Here? This one, the first one. Yeah. This one, branzino. Ricciola, yeah, and capasanta is... Underneath. The... Ah, underneath, okay. Yeah. Awesome. Yes, thank you. It's time to get the party started, right? Yes. <laughs> Cheers, Cheers, salute. Cheers. So delicate beautifully almost clear not even white clear 
<laughs> I was thinking nothing yourself. gets away from me. <laughs> mm. I can honestly say I've never had a bronzino sashimi. That's truly really different. Mm, yep. So good. Actually, bronzino, no, usually you. Doesn't it almost taste like a scallop? I wonder if that is a scallop, and that's the bronzino. Yeah, this is, see, in fact, because this is the... Um, I thought I was eating scallop. Yep. Now this is bronzino. It's delicious. Absolutely. Now I'll try the bronzino. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, also the consistency yeah. has nothing to do with the bronzino. Now this is the bronzino. Yes. All right. It's his face. Capa Santa. See, of course. <laughs> You call it uh, mm. Capa Santa in Italian. Capa Santa. The scallop. Yeah, the scallop Capa is Santa. Santa. We're working on my Italian. Yeah, we're Capa starting Santa. lessons. Yes, it's never too late to learn. <laughs> no, never. Capa Santa. Right. Delicious, yes, please. Surprising, delicious, everything you could want at one place here at Del Cambio. Incredible.